Here we go, guys. After seven years of hard work and labor, this guy is finally, finally coming together after seven years. I don't know. I started out with this. This was initially blue. It's colors underneath. I have to sand, do some sanding here. And everything probably gets, comes together really, really well. Um, hopefully my voice doesn't sound cranky in this one, but I'll put this together. This is actually from my original peacock that I had. I was going to, I was going to add more details to it, but I stopped when I got to a certain point. This is from that peacock, the first peacock I've ever done. And that's everything there. It's made of clay. It's made of a feather from my bird, my bird that I have, Samuel. So that's in memory of him. So that's, that's, that's your feather there, buddy. Wherever you are. Out there in the big blue world, this is your feather, and I love you, man. Um, other than that, man, it, it's coming out really well. My whole initial idea is to take this thing and make it like a wave. This whole piece of plastic here is hardened plastic that I use with a heat gun. And pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going to take some wire. You may be able to see it that right there where it is. Take some wire and put some wire in between there. And then make it the colors of the Filipino flag. Like, it's going to be gold. It's going to be red and then blue inside there. And this is like the sun. If you look very close, this is like the sun of the Philippines. And that's like the, um, this whole thing here is the sun. The whole arching support beam here is the sun. That was my, that was my train of thought. It's like encase it inside of a sun. I might like, this is what I might do. I might like take this whole piece here. This is just nothing but regular cardboard. I take some pieces here. Go up here, it's like I've done in a circle. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to make the pieces actually connect, which is actually interesting to me, though. Like, it leaves more room for creativity with my works and things like that. This whole piece here is a talent I made, a custom talent that I'm making, a custom talent. It's made out of glue, cardboard, and wood. And so far, it's coming out really good. You know, I just have it sitting there for now. It's like a prompt. I didn't attach anything yet. So I'm still working on the feet. I'm trying to decide exactly how big I want the feet to be. Something like this. Right from that angle there. But I'm going to probably add some more fronts to it. I want the feet to be detachable. So if I ever want to, want to take this off, I technically can take it off. You know, I can take up and unhook some parts. I'm using my brain to, like, put this piece together in such a way where if I ever want to take it apart and put it together, I can put it together without it being damaged or without it being harmed. This is just clay here, but I think I might put some like metal metal plates inside there. I cut it open, put some metal plates in there so I can put the metal plates in there and I can attach it with like magnets or like metal and then take this whole thing apart if I need to take, take it apart and deconstruct it and then put it back together again because I'm thinking about space saving stuff now because this, this space has always been tight and I have this like super creative ideas and I don't know what to do with them. And I'm trying to figure it out the best way to go about it. Because I don't want to stop, dude. Because if I stop, I'm dead. And that's pretty much how art works for me. And it works, I think, with a lot of artists that take their work seriously. Like, when you work, you don't want to be left out in the cold. And you don't want to just be sitting there holding the bag of, like, guilt. Like, hey, as an artist, I could have painted this. I could have painted that. And I could have painted this. And it's like, it's like that kind of feeling. And you don't want to have that kind of feeling of, of, of like artist regret. You know, I based it off the reference photo. I have the reference photo around there somewhere if I can find it. And I totally misplaced it. Did I misplace it? I think I did. Yeah, reference photo is gone. But, um, yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, no, here it is. Reference photo. The Philippine Eagle. Like... I got your back, Philippines. I got your back. I got your back. Got your back. Got your back. Making the bird. 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 And I think up next is probably gonna be the bald eagle. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should make. My whole train of thinking with this here is having this be one set piece, and have it interlock and be adjacent with the with the American bird. That'd be that'd be an even cooler idea, like a puzzle piece or something like that. It'd be really interesting. I think I might try that. So the way this bird is facing here, it's going to be facing polar opposite like this, as opposed to the other one as being opposed to it, so they both be together rather than separate. And I'm thinking of, of doing something like that, because I think I've dreamt about that for a while, too. Like making like art into like puzzle pieces and things like that. Putting it together with some new, like innovative stuff. Like, a mind is like a terrible thing to waste. I don't want my artwork to be a waste. I want it to be something that I can look at 
probably 50 years from now and be like, damn, I did that. Like, how did Sam, how did I manage to do that? I went from like little stick figures when I was a kid and then from trying to draw people, I felt successful in doing that. And then I started doing more abstract stuff. But this stuff is like an all time high when you do abstract art. It really is, man. When you sit down and you sit down and make the feathers here, these are the feathers that I made of like paper and like plastic is sitting right there. And I have like the yellow underneath the earth. So the representation of the Philippines that have the clay going on the side here, yellow clay, some red, you know, nothing's really finalized yet. I'm still working it out there to see what looks good. And what I'm going to do, I might have said it earlier, like the shadow that's in back of this thing because uh, I, think I, I think I have a bad habit of my work. Whenever it casts shadows, like I don't think I don't think I really get the fullness of the way the piece is supposed to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and paint over this here, and cast the original shadow over it, depending on the light sources. But it doesn't really matter. I can cast shadow several times over on this board here if I if I if I want to cast it over several times. So that way, no matter what position you take, you'll be able to see the piece, and it won't cast a sh like a like a physical shadow on it. I want it to be something that's like like ingrained and like stuck onto the canvas that I can take off and detach and put together at any time, like a puzzle. That's going to be another part of it. And the other part is going to be having the bird sit adjacent, the American bird sit adjacent to this one. Many even make it attachable, but you know, I'm thinking ahead, like thinking like really in depth right now. But um, yeah, it's coming out really good. It took me a long time. I know I've been telling people, I'm going to make the Philippine Eagle. I'm going to make the Philippine Eagle. Not going to make the Philippine Eagle. I'm just like, okay, I'm finally doing it now after seven years. It's been a long time coming, and I'm getting it done. All right, just going to let you know. This is D. I'm bye. I'm out. Bye. See you later.